Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Napoleon, starring Joaquin Phoenix. Um, yeah, it looks pretty epic. From Apple Original Films, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 11. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, I mean, is there a better guy to play Napoleon, quite frankly? I don't think he's short, though. That about... <laughs> That's probably the only problem with him. Um, even his, even the little scar he has uh, on his lip, that works. That works perfectly with his character. I think. I don't think Napoleon had a had a facial thing, but I think it works. Um, it looks cool. It looks cool as hell. I like the characterization of Napoleon in the trailer. He's super smart. Um, but you know, this is, we all know how it all ended for him. Um, it's going to concentrate partly on his romance. Here he is shooting cannonballs at the Sphinx <laughs> and the Great Pyramids. So, uh, I think it's going to be pretty epic. And the way they're framing it, it's kind of like, um, the decadence of the nobility and the elite and, uh, Napoleon just rises up because of his amazing competence. And that's pretty much true. It's pretty much true. I mean, he was the genius of his age. Um, they also called him a lot of nasty things, too, because, well, he took over a lot of countries. Uh, you know, before, before the great big wars of the modern age, he was considered the uh, evil in Europe. And, uh, but hey, this looks pretty, pretty awesome. It looks pretty damn awesome. Um, it's got a richness to it in the trailer. Here they show you a great bit. Um, one of his, uh, one of his generals or sidekicks says, Sire, we've been discovered. And he goes, good, because it's a trap. And, uh, as, uh, his opposing forces cross the ice. Uh, they fire the cannons into the ice. It doesn't matter if they hit any of the people, and it just breaks the ice, and they all start falling into the freezing water. It's awesome. It's a brilliant strategy. I don't know if that's a real strategy with him. Written by David Scarpar, Scarpar, Scarpa, and directed by Ridley Scott. Thanksgiving feels like a Thanksgiving film feels like something that'd be out uh, in the fall I would totally see this I mean I would definitely see this in say like um, you know like on uh, VOD I mean Joaquin Phoenix is a really good actor and uh, I think this role suits him it reminds me a little bit of the role uh, from Gladiator, because because probably mainly because of the crown, but um, he's just a really good actor. So I think this will be good. Ridley Scott, you know, he's had some stinkers. Um, I'm glad he's getting into something like this. This this seems more. More his speed for a uh, older director should be doing something more challenging, and this is a challenging film to make this exciting. But I'm telling you, this trailer looks very exciting to me. It looks smart. Oh, who who worked on it from Gladiator? From acclaimed director of Blade Runner, Black Hawk Down. Oh, and I guess Gladiator, director of The Martian. Yeah, they're really pushing it. I mean, good. I mean, they should push it. Uh, even this detail, he keeps covering his ears every time they fire a cannon. I think it's going to be great. Uh, Apple, spending some real money on a film. I mean, this movie ain't going to be cheap. Oh, this is a got to be over $100 million. Easy, I would say. 
even with the green screen, you know, talking like everybody needs a costume. Every actor needs a costume. Um, some of this stuff was probably shot on site. But, um, yeah, I think this is going to be going to be good. So it's going to be the rise and fall of Napoleon. Um, first act, you're coming out of um, time period after the uh, after the French Revolution. Things are all messed up. The nobility is still infinitely corrupt. And uh, Napoleon is just super smart, super competent. He's the only one that can sort of bring France um, stability. And um, so they're, they start to recognize his ability and uh, they start using him to secure the country. And then uh, somewhere around the beginning of the first act, there's a tipping point where they're still so corrupt and stupid. <laughs> Eventually, people just look to Napoleon and said, why don't you just be the king? I mean, you're, you're good at this. And uh, eventually he goes, yeah, okay, that sounds good. So second act is probably when he takes over, becomes emperor, and uh, continues his uh, uh, military campaigns, because that's what he does. Uh, that's partly what he does. And so uh, much like a Roman, Napoleon always struck me as kind of like a Roman conqueror. This is the way the Romans would run. They would, they would come into power and they would just keep expanding, expanding, expanding. Um, and that's what he did. And for a while, that worked out very well for him. But eventually all of Europe uh, got its act together to fight him. And uh, he lost. I, I'm not sure how far they're going to go with it. So I think the third act might be his exile and return. An eventual death but uh, it seems to focus on his relationship to a large degree I think that'll mostly be in the second and third acts um, although there is one line in it where Josephine says without me you're nothing kind of line um, I don't know if that's gonna be the whole movie but I could see a figure like that saying that line so it's an arrogant line i could see her saying that so in the context of the script i can let it go but if the whole movie's like that <laughs> like i don't want to be the tone of the movie yeah, oh yeah without josephine napoleon never would have done anything uh, that's absolutely not true but i don't think that's the angle they're going for um so yeah I would totally watch this. Let's see if there's a write-up on it. He came from nothing. He conquered everything. It's a good tagline. From acclaimed director Ridley Scott, Napoleon is exclusively in movie theaters this Thanksgiving. Watch the official trailer now. Where the hell did this come from? I, I heard very little about it. I heard more about the Johnny Depp French movie than this one. Uh, Napoleon is a spectacle-filled action epic that details the checkered rise and fall of the iconic French emperor, Napoleon Bonaparte, played by Oscar winner Joaquin Phoenix against a stunning backdrop of a large-scale filmmaking orchestrated by legendary director Ridley Scott. The film captures Bonaparte's relentless journey to power through the prism of his addictive, volatile relationship with his one true love, Josephine, showcasing his visionary military and political tactics against some of the most dynamic practical battle sequences ever filmed. Neat. Yeah, it looks like they're going to focus on the relationship, but I mean, I just don't want it to be like, oh, you know, without uh, Napoleon or without Josephine, Napoleon was nothing. I, I mean, he was a genius, a military genius. Uh, he knew how to conquer people but eventually he hit a wall as all uh, tyrants do 
Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I think it's going to be good. I'm a little worried about that, but... The volatile relationship? Okay. That, that works. I think that works. Was it that volatile? Hmm. I don't remember reading that much volatility, but... They are French. So... A lot of a lot of drama in their relationship. So I, I could see it. I could totally see it. Um it's not in French. That would be the one sort of like drawback. Uh at least the Johnny Depp film was actually in French. But I can understand why. Uh it's more for American audiences and they want American audiences to like it and it's harder to process these films if they're actually in the language it's harder to shoot too i mean uh you need a script writer who understands french not just you know hit the google translate you need to understand french you need to understand the nuances of the words especially in french because that's one of those languages it's very nuanced there's a lot to it um but, so I understand why they're not doing it in French. I I would prefer it not to be in French, quite frankly. Um, and it's focusing on the action, which I like. So I think this could be very good. Yeah. All right. So Napoleon coming out in Thanksgiving. I think it might be something to see. You know, after you're stuffed full of turkey, go out and see a movie. Uh, don't make it three hours long, Ridley Scott, please. It could be a little over two hours. I'll give you a little over two hours, but don't, please don't go three. That's too much. I mean, if I go to the movie theater right after Thanksgiving, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom eventually. I, two, two and a half hours, I might be okay. Three hours, oh man. I don't wanna have to go in the movie theater bathroom, no. So, so two and a half, please. Please. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. I'll be back with more videos later. See you in the next one.